And we back. Come on in, y'all. Sit down. Grab you a snack or something. Get some water. We got the hardcore film session for the week. What I mean by that, and I, I really thought about it, like we have this weird dynamic meaning, me and y'all. What happens is in the first and second video, I put out the big newsworthy topics, you know, like the 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 big names, like what did Michael Bennett do? How about Dak Prescott? What did uh, Zeke do this week, right? But it seems like the third film session of the week is always like the diehard stuff. Like what are we doing at Nickel Corner, backup running back? Tell us about the Sam linebacker spot, Vach. Um, but we also <laughs> get to watch some line. We get to watch some line. And I showed you some run blocking in the Zeke video. So let's take a look at how clean your offensive line kept Dak Prescott this week. All right. I got some notes here. One, two, three, four, five, seven plays to show you. I think that's a that's a that's a good healthy amount for this video. So let's get into it. Let's take a look at 77 on this play. Take a look at your boy, Tyron Smith, your left tackle demigod, Tyron Smith. I'm sick of people saying Tyron Smith is, is getting old or Tyron Smith has fallen off. Tyron Smith has not fallen off. And I'm, I want to do a video on the penalties that were called on Tyron Smith um, and whether they were valid or not. I kind of want to make that a, make that a video like for the last seven weeks or something like that. I might do that. Y'all let me know in the chat box if y'all want me to do that comment section if you want me to. But 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 Tyron Smith is just as fantastic as he's been the past handful of years or so. So let's not get out of control with that. Take a look at Tyron Smith's left hand right here. If Tyron Smith can beat you with one hand, he will. And he, and he does it all the time. Take a look at this. <laughs> you see how this kid just stops? You see how when Tyron just punch him, he stopped? There is no longer any type of pursuit to the outside because we just put this big grizzly bear hand in your chest and it made you stop moving. Take a look at Tyron Smith. Look at this. The big hand in the chest. And look, if Tyron ain't got to use his right hand, he won't. How about this, though? Take a look at this. We got um, we got a bunch of blocks up front I wanted to show y'all. Take a look at this. Let's just run it. Let's just run and see what happens here. We were talking about Leo Collins and his improvement, how much better he's gotten with his hands. They they still can be better, but what Leo has learned is, you know, uh, regardless of what happens with his hands, he's learned how to recover a little better. Um, and I think that just comes with like growth and like you know just just years in the game or whatever. But take a look at Leo. Like we never had a problem with his power, but I love his feet. I don't think I don't think people talk about Leo's. Look at them feet, man. They don't talk about Leo's feet enough, man. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, look at this uh, kick slide. Let's talk about the actual technique of this kick slide. Let's look at the first two steps. Then we're gonna look at the 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 rest of the steps, right? The first two steps, Leo is gonna keep his shoulder square, right? Because if anything comes back inside, you want to be able to get back inside and react to it. If you just turn outside quick, then somebody will be able to just you know take your inside or take Leo's left quickly. So, um pretty solid discipline discipline technique right there but once leo gets to about his second step one two he he wants to be parallel to his defender okay and that's only because with the first step we just want to make sure nobody's crossing our face with the second step i right, cool i see you now let's go wherever you going let's dance you know what i mean and once leo is parallel with this guy he's going to use his hands and he's going to run his feet and dance with him Pretty solid block. block, block. Say that five times fast. Pretty solid block by Lael right there. Damn, that was a tongue twister. Uh, what about uh, Tyron Smith? Because he's so fantastic. Let's see what he did. Let's see what he did. Oh, that's oh goodness. Look at the nuance in this. All right, y'all, check this out. <laughs> y'all know, y'all know about five plays ago. Well, y'all didn't see me go through the plays or whatever, but five plays ago, Tyron Smith just punched his kid in the chest like three times in a row and stopped him. Tyron is baiting with his left hand right now, right? Tyron's gonna kick, kick, kick. Let's just play it and then we'll come back and look at it. Okay. Tyron is gonna bait with his left hand just to kind of get the attention on it, right? And I could tell that Tyron wasn't fully committed to this left hand because you could tell by how he keeps his elbow bent. If you want to punch the hell out of some other grown man, you want to keep your elbows extended or at least extend them at, at, at some point, like in a bench pressing motion. Tyron never really got that elbow straight. He just put his hands out there to kind of bait him. But look at this damn hand cannon with a knee pad on it on the other side that he's about to hit your boy with. Get down. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you stop? What are you doing, man? Quit looking. Get fall. <laughs> Look at this, man. 
by Tyron baiting with his left hand, we have, what was this, like Lorenzo Carter or something? We see him putting all the hand attention on Tyron's left hand. Now, granted, Lorenzo's doing the right thing. He's taking the outside. He wants to attack Tyron's left hand, but Tyron's really good at that. Tyron's really, really good at blocking you with half of his body. That's why he's still a top-tier demigod. And, man, what's going to happen? He's going to come over the top with this right hand cannon right here, and he's going to push down on this shoulder pad right here. Okay? And he... and. I could be wrong, but he might be pulling with that left hand. Like I would really have to get a better look at it. But at this point, he's going to pull down with his left hand and come over the top with his right one. And Lorenzo's going to mess up his white clothes. He's going to need some, some uh, Tide Pods and OxyClean to get that, get all that grass out of his white clothes like that. Let's check in on Zach Martin, see how he's doing. I ain't saying nothing about Zach Martin. Yeah, Zach's fine. Let's keep moving. Connor Williams with a fantastic block against the newly acquired Leonard Williams. I want people to understand that the Giants D line ain't terrible. Uh, they may be having problem on the the back end, like their DBs or whatever. But the but the but the D line itself, uh, Leonard Williams, Dexter Lawrence. I really like BJ Hill coming out of the draft process. Lorenzo Carter as a speed rusher type of guy. And and hell, man, Marcus Golden. He was like what top three in sacks like two years ago or something like that. So the Giants D line ain't terrible it's just that our old line is is really fantastic and we really put hands on these kids man but take a look at at connor williams versus the newly acquired leonard williams man wait hey, hey, hey y'all go quit playing with my son dog y'all go quit playing with my son what are you doing young connor's gonna get his steps in he's gonna get his shoulder square he's gonna get those hands inside boom 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 he's gonna Get that spotlight out of here. He's going to keep his feet moving. He's going to dance with Leonard Williams. That's 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 just high quality H2O right there from my son, Connor Williams. Good job by you. Um, what else we got? Let's take a look at some other people. Let's see what uh, what the demigod is doing. Yeah, he's solid. He's solid. Let's take a look at uh, yeah, Travis's uh, passing guys along. Let's take a look at Leo. Let's, let's look at Leo's feet. Good kicks. Good hands. That's what I mean by Leo with good hands, all right? Even if he gets attacked right here, being able to to come back and recover. I'm looking at Leo Collins right here, your, your uh, right tackle, because for, for some reason people need me to point that out sometimes. But uh, your right tackle, Leo Collins, he's he's uh, he's getting some some uh, some solid hand hand fighting right there from um, 44. 44 is really doing a good job of not letting Leo like, get his hands inside, but Leo is going to keep hand fighting and he's going to eventually get inside. So 44 is going to attack the outside hand of Leo, but we see Leo working that left hand back into the frame. You see him punching with that left hand ah, right there. Ah, and then he's going to release his right hand and get that in and get that inside on the frame too, and keep his feet moving. All this is possible. Listen, y'all it's scooching in Spanish. Everybody listen. All this is possible because Leo Collins keeps his feet moving, right? If Leo Collins got to this point and his and his feet stopped, then 44 would be smoking him, man. But Leo was able to keep his hands inside and keep his feet moving, keeping that big ass body in front of him. 44 couldn't really get around him. So that's a pretty damn good job from Leo Collins right there. I love O line film. If you love O line film, go in the comment section and knock on wood if you're with me. Let's do this. Um I take a look at Tyron Smith right here. I saw a very interesting block from Tyron Smith. Um, and it took a while for the edge rush to get there, man. But I just want y'all to, to to just think about all of the techniques that Tyron Smith got in his tool belt. First of all, he know all of the techniques. If he didn't have strength, he still got perfect technique. But then he got strength and he got great movement. I just want y'all to appreciate Tyron Smith. It made me sick when I go on the internet and I see these casual ass civilians, I ain't talking about y'all, I'm talking about everybody else. These casual ass cowboy fan civilians that get ungrateful with Tyron Smith. Knowing he still got strength, he still got, you know, great hands, great power, great technique, man. Take a look at this. After like 30 blocks, right, <laughs> this end finally gets hands inside on Tyron Smith, right? And I just want everybody to be grateful because if this was a normal left tackle, Let's get to boom, 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 boom. If this was a normal left tackle, think about it. The DN got both hands inside, hat level low. We're kind of like straight footed. If this was any other tackle, that dude would have been beat, man. Maybe like two other guys wouldn't have got beat. But we got one of the guys in the league that don't get beat by this. Take a look at the, the block as a whole, then I'll come back and we'll just break it down. The small nuance, I want you to watch his feet right there Tyron's going to give up one step two steps then I want you to see Tyron Smith glide back right this is well let me show you this glide right here take a look at his feet right here just 
Boom, right there. See that? Tyron Smith gliding back. This ain't Tyron Smith getting bullied or 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 getting pushed back. I saw somebody on the internet get this totally wrong. Like, if Tyron took if he went from point A to point B, this point A, this point B. If he went from point A to point B and he took like 30 steps to get there, that's Tyron Smith getting bullied. This hop step backwards is Tyron Smith giving up space, right? He's surrendering space to give himself more room to work. You know what I mean? It's hard to work your hands with this kid all up in your chest like that, with this kid just real, real close to you like that. It's hard to do, but... When Tyron takes this leap backwards, boom, and he plants his feet, look at all that room Tyron created for himself. Look at all that. Tyron went from this close to this far away with just this leap. And what that does, it 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 it, it resets the block. It gives us more room to work with and navigate. So now if I'm Tyron Smith and he does it really well here, I can get my hands back inside and stop your goofy ass, right? And he did it while he was leaping, which shows you how great Tyron is, right? He's going to give up that. He, he going he gonna to pop step backwards, man, and get his hands back inside. Now nah, you dead. Let's go back to the wide view because it kind of went away because that got rid of the ball quick there. Let's go to the wide view. Tyron, left tackle right here. Take a look at him, man. Look at this. Boom. Come on, man. Come on. Five seconds ago, your hands was inside and you thought you had me on skates. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all need to be a little more grateful about y'all about y'all uh, left tackle. He might go to another damn Pro Bowl this year. Uh, let's check on Zach Martin and see how he's doing. Let's see. Yeah, he's straight. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. The next two players I want to talk about gap exchanges. Uh, the Giants like to do a lot of gap exchanging. They they like to do stunts. They like to get movement up front, man. But I just want to talk about how smart your offensive line is to like pick this stuff up, see it, and react to it, man. Take a look at your left guard and your center right here. Now, young Tony. Let's take a look at Tony first and get him out the way. Young Tony. Come on, cuzzo. That's my cousin, but you got to step up and get that block and hit that dude square. But... This was all part of the blitz, but if you look at Connor Williams and Travis Frederick here, your left guard and your center, 52, 72, if you get a chance to like see those guys' gap exchange, what 47 wanted Connor to do was to turn his shoulders, right? He wanted him to um, to uh, turn the shoulders so that this linebacker can run free. Well, Connor Williams didn't he didn't he didn't let that happen, man. The offensive line as a whole did a fantastic job of 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 keeping their eyes up and looking for the gap exchanges and looking for the slants, right? Um, Connor's gonna see this boom 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 boom. He's gonna pass him along to Travis, but you see Connor keeps his eyes up the whole time, sees his goofy ass coming. What are you doing? Stop. <laughs> He's going to stop him right in his tracks, man. Pretty good job uh, from my son. I need my cousin to block a little better. Pretty good job from uh, Travis Frederick picking up that uh, that uh, gap exchange there. How about your offensive line right here? Let's, uh, let's really get a good look at almost everybody here, right? Uh, Tyron Connor, Travis, um, Lael right here, okay? It's, it's going to be a lot of madness going on in here, but... What I can appreciate is everybody kept their damn eyes up. First of all, let's uh, let's take a look at Tony for for uh, fixing his past mistake, hitting that dude square. Good job, Tony, picking up the blitz there. Appreciate it, Cuzzo. Now, I want to run through this thing slowly. Let's run it one more time for the people that hate when I run through it slowly. Like this, this ain't this ain't highlights. This is film player. We hit rewind here. I want everybody to look at. We're gonna do this slowly. This linebacker. Okay, he's going to cross through a lot of these gaps, right? But I want you to look at your offensive line, how they navigate the blocks that are in front of him uh, and in front of them. But they keep eyes on this sneaky bastard here just to see what he possibly might be doing. Let's take a look at uh, Tyron Smith, 77. Tyron's going to step inside and he's going to engage his block. But you see Tyron, he's looking 
at the linebacker there just to see what he might do. He's looking at him. Take a look at Connor Williams. This is impressive. Look at his eyes. Connor Williams, he's going to put that right hand out just in case Travis needs some help. Okay. He's going to get that left hand up just in case Tyron needs some help. But he is looking at this sneaky son. You just never know. You never know which gap he's going to try to penetrate, right? You look at Travis Frederick. Look at Travis because he may have a guy in his – Boom, 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 boom. He has a guy in his backside A gap, Travis. He has a guy in his backside A gap, but his front side A gap is totally exposed right here. Look at Travis. This linebacker is going to come over. Travis is going to keep his eyes up and find his ass. I love this by my offensive line because you never know. Lael Collins blocking his dude. Lael got his eyes up, and he's going to be the guy that's going to have to get rid of uh, get rid of his block, come off, and um and uh make the chip i think that's fantastic by my guys now uh leo kind of got his shoulders turned inside cool we can work on that it's not perfect but i can tell that my offensive line is fantastic because everybody kept their eyes up and we all took turns seeing where the hell he might go and he was taken care of because everybody was aware of the situation our offensive line iq is it it, it just goes up it just keeps going up, man. Good, clap it up. Can I get hand clap emojis in my chat box, please, for your offensive line? And I promise this is the last play, man. But just take a look at your boy Tyron Smith just being fantastic. <laughs> just stopping people where they at, man. Just stop it, man. Stop it. Man, 44 been getting picked on, pushed around, stuck in the ground, uppercut spun around and kung loud. Just, ugh. Not a great game by anybody that lined up against Tyron Smith, man. Great game by you, man. And 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 look, Zach Martin just quietly been fantastic over here. Let's just check in on Zach Martin and see what he's doing. Beating the shit out of somebody's son. Hey, man, uh, that's all I got for y'all, bro. Like, I just want y'all to be grateful for your offensive line. It's some talented cats on this on this Giants D line. Uh, I don't want y'all to think that we were just picking on you know picking on some normies here, man. It's some it's some pretty good guys on on their team. Some guys you would love to have. So um, let's just uh, keep in mind how uh, how uh, solid they were. And you got a pretty damn good 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 D line coming up this week with the Vikings in you know two days, three days, something like that, uh, Sunday or whatever. Uh, the Vikings are pretty damn good up front, so we're going to need this O-line to have another fantastic performance to keep Dak clean and to keep Zeke beating the hell out of people. Um, so, hey, stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. We'll see. Uh, I got a Patreon. Appreciate y'all. If y'all want to help support the Patreon, it's one dollar a month. It's uh the link is in the description. Patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. Follow me on Twitter, V-O-C-H-L-O-M-B-A-R-D-I. The subscribe button is paramount. We're trying to get to our goals. I'm trying to get to 50 um by the end of the year. We'll see if I can do it or not. And um hit the notification bell so you know when I drop random film sessions and live streams in the middle of the week, just like this. All right. Um Y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski, man. That's my three film sessions this week. I might do another live stream at some point. Don't forget the biggest, bestest, baddest post game show after the game on Sunday. Tune in after the after the Cowboys versus Vikings win, lose or draw, and uh, the morning after show is gonna be the morning after show up. All right, y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski, the Peaky Whiskey, man. Salute. After canceling my cable, I saved twenty four hundred dollars this year by switching to Beast TV through ChannelsForCheap.com. Some people pay two hundred plus dollars a month. I paid one twenty a year, or you can go fifteen a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get twenty five hundred HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is multi screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time that you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, smart TVs, tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven-day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it. 
The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.